Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer. I'm here to bring you a tech tip from MCAM Northwest. Today I want to talk about tool libraries and how we can associate them with our machines. Rather than trying to explain this, let's take a look at an example to see how we can make our lives a little bit easier as programmers. So here's my example. I have a part that is ready to be programmed. Let's go ahead and drop the machine in and add a toolpath. I'm going to use dynamic mill with automatic regions to cut out these three pockets. Looks good. At this point, I would have to go to my tool page and select a tool. There's nothing here, so I need to go select a library tool. By default, this is going to pull up the mill inch library, since I'm using inch mode in Mastercam. You would get the metric library if you're running in metric. But this is annoying because if I already created a special library that was just for this machine, or maybe I use the same library for all of my machines. Either way, it's not this one. It has its own library, which means I'd have to go in here and select it from my lists. Then my tools show up. I don't want to have to do this every time I open Mastercam. So how do we set this up to do this automatically? Let's go ahead and close this. And I'm going to reopen the file. This time, go ahead and drop in the machine. Go to my machine tab and open the machine definition. Go ahead and green check here. At this point, I want to go to the general machine parameters, which is right here, just next to the control definition button. Then in this page, we have a tab for tool slash material libraries. Here, I'm going to select a new tool library from the list. In this case, it's my standardized tools list. So that's been pre-selected. Now there's also a checkbox here for automatically load tools when machine is read into a machine group. We don't need this. This is a mill turn thing, so we can leave that alone. Let's green check here and green check here. We'll get a prompt on whether or not we want to save this. Go ahead and say yes. Then allow it to replace the machine group. At this point, any new program that pulls in that machine should be grabbing that library by default. Let's open this one more time. Again, we save that information back to the machine definition, which means now I wouldn't have to make that selection. I open up my machine, set my automatic regions, then go to my tools page. It's still empty, but when I go to select a library tool, my standardized tools list is already pulled up. Another thing we can do at this point is every time we bring in the machine, we can simply go to our tool manager Look at our tool assemblies, since mine are all assemblies with tools and holders. Select everything and bring it up. Now, if I go to add in another toolpath, my tools list is pre-populated. So that is a great way to save yourself a little bit of time when programming. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, make sure to like and comment this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want more interesting content, just let us know. You can always email us at support at mcamnw.com or give us a call on our main line. Thanks and have a great day.